and welcome back to my tutorial. This is Erica. I hope you are ready for another fun and easy project today. I'll be showing you how to make this super cute drawstring bag. It's super simple, like literally could not be any easier. This is a great project for super new beginners. It's also a great kids project and these bags you can make in any size using this technique. There will be information on cutting instructions and everything you need in the description box below. So just click the show more link. Let's go ahead and get started with this fun and easy project. So supplies for this project are super, super simple. All you're gonna need is one piece of fabric. This has been cut 12 inches by 28 inches long. You're gonna need something for your drawstring. I'm just gonna use this twill ribbon. Some scissors are helpful. Of course, your sewing machine and an iron. And that is it, guys. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is just fold up these long edges by a quarter of an inch and then another quarter of an inch. This bag is not lined and so we just don't want to have any raw edges and honestly guys, I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing. Um, if you have any questions about my iron, I will put them in the description box below. But I literally just press it and then roll it one more time and press it again and I'm going to do that to both of the long sides of our bag and we've got a little visitor here so I need to move him out of the way. And we're just going to repeat that on the other side, being careful not to get jacks. Okay, next we're going to just take this to our machine and just sew right down this edge just to seal it off. And then that way we won't have any raw edges or fraying. We're going to do that on both long sides of the fabric and I'm going to remove my sewing partner here so hopefully you guys can see better. <laughs> can I just have that? Thanks. So here we've sewn down our long sides. Now we're going to do the same thing to the ends. So I'm just going to press this end in by a quarter of an inch. And again, I'm kind of eyeballing. And then another quarter of an inch. We're just doing this so we don't have raw edges. If you did canvas or something like that, you would uh, only need to fold it over once. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is fold it over by about depending on how thick your drawstring is I'm just using a pretty thin ribbon so you can kind of make this uh, little drawstring casing as thick or thin as you like I'm gonna do it looks like for mine I'm gonna do about maybe an inch and a quarter whatever you do on this end just do yeah an inch and a quarter looks good to me just do the exact same on the opposite end and I'm actually just gonna kind of press it down a little bit with my ruler there and then I'll press it with my iron we're just gonna take it to our sewing machine now and just sew down this edge to make sure that we press, uh, catch our seam, but leave enough open so that we can run our drawstring through this. And we're gonna repeat this same exact process on the opposite end of our fabric. Ooh, I didn't even measure guys, let's see how I did. Not bad, not bad, okay. All right, so I'm just gonna take this to my machine and then sew down this um, edge right here. All right, so I'm gonna do a back stitch at the front and back just to kind of help secure it. So here is our piece and I've sewn both of my edges on and our next step is super simple. We're just going to fold it in half right sides together and I'm just lining up these edges here and if you'd like you can throw a couple of pins in this just to kind of hold it in place. You don't have to. Totally up to you. Um, I probably wouldn't but if you're really new and you're nervous about things um, we're, you know, moving around on you then go ahead and stick a couple pins in. Totally optional. Thank you. 
Okay, and then we're gonna take this over to our sewing machine and we're going to do a back stitch right here where this um, casing stops. So do a back stitch and then just sew right down this edge and we're gonna do the same thing on both sides and I'll do a back stitch at the end as well. Just make sure that you leave the portion for the drawstrings um, um, open. You don't wanna sew closed your drawstring openings. All right, and then over here, you just wanna make sure that your edges stay nice and lined up. And then I actually sew on the inside of this existing seam. That way you won't see it when you turn your bag right side out. So I'm just actually gonna try and sew right next to it. All right, guys, we're almost done with this bag. The next step is just to turn it right side out. Easy enough. Okay, there we go. And then the next step is just to do our drawstring. And if you'd like, you can also press your bag really quick just so that the edges are kind of nice. I'll probably do that. Um, and then you can make this bag any size you want using the same tutorial. So to figure out the drawstring casing, I will usually give myself about three inches on this side, run it laid across, and then another three or so inches on here. I left a little bit longer because there's tape on this end. And that's really all you need. So I went ahead and cut mine. I just am cutting it at an angle. Um, I just think it makes it look a little bit nicer. But totally up to you. Same if you use like regular ribbon. And then I forgot to mention this in the supplies, but a large safety pin is kind of handy for this part. And so we're just going to use this safety pin to go ahead and thread our drawstring. Okay, so we've got it through one side. We're just gonna flip it over and keep going. And I just kind of scrunch it up on there and pull it. Just be careful on this second round that you don't pull it out from this side over here. And then, oh, you can kind of just scrunch it up. So then I just even up my sides over here and just tie them in a regular knot on the end like that. And there you go, the easiest drawstring bag ever. These are perfect for gifts, um, teacher's gifts, um, little gift bags. They're super fun and easy to make. If you buy a yard of fabric, you can make four bags out of one yard, and I'll show you the cutting instructions in a little graphic. I cut three going vertically and then one across the top. And then this little spool right here is three yards, and I kind of average about one yard per bag. This particular one, I used 28 inches of of the drawstring uh, material. So kind of depends on the size of your bag, but hopefully that gives you an idea if you're gonna make a lot of these, kind of how much you can get per yard of ribbon and per yard of fabric. All right guys, that is it for this project. As you can see, it was super easy. Probably only takes like five or 10 minutes to make one of these bags. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, that way I know to keep making projects for you. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you next time.